What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Eye Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a status update on iOS 8.1.3, which is an upcoming iOS version, as well as iOS 8.2, and of course the jailbreaks for those versions, you know, when they may be coming out, and what we could expect in the future in terms of jailbreaking. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is iOS 8.1.3. Now this iOS version is currently in beta testing. It's available to Apple Store retail employees, so it's not out to the public. And there is beta testing going on right now just so Apple can iron out all the bugs before it's released. And this version is just supposed to be a minor update to iOS 8.1.2 because you know it's just a point three update. It'll just supposed it's just supposed to fix some bugs that are found in the current version. However, it is expected that it will patch, so basically prevent it from functioning, the current Taiji iOS 8.1.2 untethered jailbreak. So basically, as soon as Apple does release 8.1.3, most likely you will not be able to jailbreak this iOS version using Taiji. Now that's not confirmed, and I'm not, I don't know about that. Who knows, maybe the exploits will remain in the iOS version and we'll still be able to jailbreak, but... So basically, whenever it's released, as soon as that, whenever that happens, do not update, wait until... I update you with another one of these videos or on Twitter. Just be patient if they release this iOS version. Just do not update. They definitely will release it. It's just a question of when. So there were a lot of reports that it was going to be released last week. However, that didn't happen, and it's still in beta stage. They released a new beta, so they're still ironing out some of the bugs. And it may come out tomorrow. Who knows? They like to release iOS versions on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. So just in this coming week, beware of those days. So just be careful. The update may appear then. And as soon as the update is available, you want to make sure to avoid it when you connect your device to your computer through the USB cable. However, you will not have to worry about updating and settings, general software update, because this particular portion of, or this particular way of updating is blocked if your device is jailbroken. So again, if your device is jailbroken on 8.1.2 or any other iOS version, you don't have to worry about accidentally updating through the settings app that is blocked by the jailbreak. However, iTunes is not blocked. So just make sure that when you connect your device to iTunes on your computer, once again, that you do not accidentally select update. Your jailbreak will go away. And if uh, the Taiji jailbreak is patched, you will not be able to jailbreak your device until a new jailbreak is available. And I'm going to be talking about that in just a second. Now, if you update your device to iOS 8.1.3 and you want to downgrade it back to 8.1.2, that will be possible, however, for a very short amount of time. Basically, whenever Apple releases a new iOS version, the previous iOS version before it is downgradable, so you can downgrade to it, however, not for long. Apple does close the ability to downgrade, basically. So whenever a new iOS version is released, the previous iOS version is installable for, if you're lucky, a few days, and maybe even a week or two. And then again, that's if you're extremely lucky. In most cases, it's closed within a few days, uh, or maybe just one day, and possibly even a few hours. So do not rely on that if you want to downgrade your device. Just assume that you will not be able to. And of course, I will make a video showing you guys how to downgrade in that very short amount of time. But again, that method will not work for a long time, just for a very short amount of time. And that goes for any iOS version. Whenever a new one's released, you could only go back to the previous one for a short amount of time. So basically, to sum up the iOS 8.1.3 news, whenever it comes out, do not update. And even if the jailbreak is still unpatched, which it most likely will be patched, but even if it is unpatched, the Taiji team will still have to update their jailbreak utility in order for it to recognize iOS 8.1.3. So again, just stay away when it comes out until I let you guys know with another one of these videos. No matter if it's patched or unpatched, whatever it is, I'll be sure to make a video as soon as 8.1.3 is available just to tell you guys the latest news. And I want to get into the second thing, and that is the next jailbreak. So, for example, if iOS 8.1.3 patches this current jailbreak, when, can we, when can we expect the next jailbreak? And most likely, you can expect it at the iOS 8.2 iOS version. So most likely... If the 8.1.3 version does close the Taiji jailbreak, most likely the, the next jailbreak will, will not be released until iOS 8.2 is available. And the reason for that is whenever a jailbreak is released, the exploits that allow the jailbreak to function are disclosed to the public. And of course, whenever that happens, Apple is going to look at those exploits and most likely patch them soon. So why not just wait for iOS 8.2 so we could experience a jailbreak on a bigger iOS version? So that's basically the status for a possible 8.1.3 jailbreak. Most likely it will happen at 8.2, but you know, who knows? I've been surprised in the past. 
when the 8.1 jailbreak was patched by 8.1.1, I was expecting that there was not going to be another one released before 8.2, but here we are talking about iOS 8.1.2, which is jailbreakable with Taiji. So that surprised me. Who knows? I could be surprised again. And about iOS 8.2, it's just going to be bringing some more major features to the operating system. That's why, again, it would be smarter to wait for that to release a jailbreak. So it'll bring support for the Apple Watch, which will be a upcoming product for Apple. It'll pair it with your iPhone. So there'll hopefully be some other features as well, but we'll just have to see. You know, generally when there's an update that's bigger than a point, you know, for example, 8.1.3, when it's a bigger update like 8.2, most likely there will be more features. Now iOS 8.2 is in beta stage to Apple developers, so it's currently at beta stage 4, and you may be wondering if Taiji is capable of jailbreaking these betas, and the good news is it is capable of jailbreaking iOS 8.2 beta 3. And we know this because iDownloadBlog, which is a popular jailbreak and iPhone site, did actually interview the Taiji team. And if you want this interview, I'll be sure to put a link to it in the description down below. In this interview, the interviewer does ask if their tool can jailbreak iOS 8.2 Beta 3, which was the latest beta at the time of this interview. And they do say that their tool can absolutely do it. So as you can see right here, here's the interviewer's question. Apple recently released iOS 8.2 Beta 3. Are you confident that your tool will be able to jailbreak this software? And then Taiji says, yes, absolutely. So that's great. Obviously, Beta 4 was released recently, so we're not sure how that affects it, but we'll have to see. There's no real news on that. And the next question is actually interesting as well. The interviewer asks, do you feel confident about the future of jailbreaking? Do you have exploits that you haven't used um, that could be used for a future version of iOS, basically? And they, see, they say uh, quite confident. So that's very good as well. They're confident about the future that they will be able to jailbreak future versions of iOS. For example, if iOS 8.2 is uh, unjailbreakable in its final state, that's good that they have other exploits that they're confident about. And that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. I just wanted to give you guys a status update at where the community is at right now. Again, you can jailbreak iOS 8.1.2 right now, the latest iOS version at the time that I'm making this video. I'll have that tutorial in the description down below if you want to do that. And again, just stay away from 8.1.3. It may be coming out soon. And also, whenever 8.2 is released, also stay away from that because, again, we just don't know at this point uh, if it's able to be jailbroken with Taiji because, obviously, it's not even out yet. And we don't know about beta 4. We do know about beta 3 because obviously Taiji said that they're able to jailbreak that. But beta 4, we're not sure if the current jailbreak is able to work. And of course, whenever a new iOS version is released, just stay away until we have any news. Again, as soon as any news comes out about any of the topics that I talked about today, I'll be sure to let you guys know. So whenever any of these versions are released, whenever their jailbreaks are released, anything like that, stay tuned. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.